Your boys working hard on this Saturday, huh? YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with yet another Washington Football Team video. And in today's video, we're here to talk about center Chase Roulier and also an update on Terry McLaurin. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL or in this case, our Washington Football Team. And let's get straight into today's video. Like I told you guys, 2021, I plan for it to be a huge year for me and also you guys because I want to hit the big goal of 10,000 subscribers but it's not just my 10,000 subscribers it's our 10,000 subscribers so join me by hitting the subscribe button and the like button and what a better way to bring in the new year with my boy Chase Roulier getting a new contract yes you guys heard it here first Chase Roulier just got a four year 40.5 million dollar contract with 19 million guaranteed Shout out to my boy Chase Willie, really well deserved. And now he has 19 million up front, man. Dinner on Chase Willie really after we win the NFC East titles tomorrow. Let's go, man. So, $19 million just got inserted into Chase Roulier's account because $19 million guaranteed. Now, Chase Roulier will be here until 2024. A lot of people don't realize this, but this is a, yet another late round gym by Cal. He drafted Chase Roulier in the sixth round, and now this guy is getting paid like one of the top centers in all of football, in which he is. He's one of the top centers, if not the best center in all of football. According to Pro Football Focus, Chase Roulier is ranked 5 in pass blocking, 7 in run blocking, and 4th overall. So overall, he is the 4th best center in all of the NFL. This is well deserved for Chase Roulier. I mean, honestly, if you guys want to look at it like this, he has been the only stable offensive lineman for the past couple years. I mean, he's never hurt. He's playing every single snap of the game, and you barely hear a peep out of him. He doesn't botch any snaps. I can't recall the last time we botched a snap. So this money is well deserved for Chase Roulier. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what about Brandon Sheriff, Ronald Darby, JD McKissick, etc., etc.? They will be handled in the offseason. Now, the big question is Brandon Sheriff. I'm leaning more each and every day that they will resign Brandon Sheriff, but you never know with the Washington football team as they shown by letting us know that they aren't fully invested into anybody because at any moment they'll let you go or at any moment in this case for Chase Roulier they will get signed more than certain they will resign a Pro Bowl right guard this offseason. Chase Roulier was one of the top priorities headed into the 2020 offseason and now it's probably gonna be Brandon Sheriff now like as the biggest player getting signed because Chase Roulier will now be here into 2024 so big shout out to Chase Roulier for getting that big whopping payday and let's go out there and kick some eagles and what a lot of other people got to realize that this is the first big contract given out by Ron Rivera. So this guy must have impressed Ron Rivera a lot because you guys know that he is not just giving out big contracts to anybody. Hit Quentin Dunbar last year when Quentin Dunbar wanted to get paid. He's like, hey man, it's not that I don't want to pay you, but I got to see what you're working with first. Especially with a guy like Quentin Dunbar knowing that he's injury prone. He doesn't want to pay a guy all that money. So Chase Roulier must have left a big impression on Ron Rivera's face because he just got a whopping payday and I know a lot of people are going to be like hey it's his coach okay whatever but you guys got to understand Ron Rivera is not like no other coach if that was the case he would have went out this free agency and got all the big names. He tried once with Amari Cooper. He's seen that didn't work. He's like, okay, Amari Cooper doesn't want to sign here. Let's go get twice as much players as one Amari Cooper. We got at least nine good players in free agency. Look at that. If we would have signed Amari Cooper, we would not have been able to sign all these good players or good assets that we got this past free agency. Now, last thing I want to talk about here is Terry McLaurin. Now, Washington elevated Dontrell Emmett to the active roster just a couple minutes ago, but Terry McLaurin, it came out and said that he is dealing with the high ankle sprain, as we know, but he is intending on giving it a go. So, Terry McLaurin most likely will be out there, if, according to the reports, barring any setbacks, of course, but Terry McLaurin, with him going out there, that just gives Alex Smith another weapon to throw to. Now, with Terry McLaurin, I'm not 
not the biggest fan of letting him go out there and play because he's dealing with the high ankle sprain and not to look past the Philadelphia Eagles but if we do in fact win tomorrow I don't want Terry McLaurin playing as much because I don't want him to have to go in that wild card game you know limpy and just making it there I want him to be fully 100% or if close to 100% maybe 90% but I don't want him to go out there and have to you know limp into the playoffs but at the same time on the back end we're still fighting for a playoff spot it's not a guarantee that we will beat the Philadelphia Eagles so I could see why Terry McClellan is going to give it a go because he wants to be out there for his teammates so in my eyes it's a win-win for us because we get Terry McClellan back but at the same time you never know how he's going to feel coming out of that game so I wouldn't be surprised if we do win and I have to keep throwing that if we do win. Terry McLaurin might not practice that whole entire week so they can rest that ankle. Now, let's get up on these Philadelphia Eagles big so we can rest Terry McLaurin. I feel like he's going to play a limited role if, in fact, we do take care of business because they want to keep him off that ankle as much as possible. But we do have to have Terry McLaurin for this game. That's the reason why I'm not too mad at it, but I'm looking also for his health-wise and looking past the Philadelphia Eagles. But I cannot do that. I have to keep my eyes narrowed and focus on the birds the birds could be like hey y'all not about to be celebrating on our field and they could end up beating us let me say congratulations to chase rulie man well deserved you earned every single penny that you got i'm so proud and so happy to call you a washington football player for the next four years because you have done nothing but great things for this team since you've been drafted like i said you have been probably the only consistent lineman as far as health wise since you've been here so shout out to Chase Roulier and also Terry McLaurin most likely will be giving it a go. More than likely he'll be a game time decision along with Alex Smith. So we'll wait and see. But we should be having Terry McLaurin and Alex Smith back. Like, comment, subscribe, help to watch the football team. It's me, boy Juan Gotti. I'm out. Peace.